revered and dear monks, devotees, my dear sister and brothers, ladies and gentlemen present here. Today's whole day function reminds me of a story. There was a whole day function. There are many speakers. When the last speaker stood to speak and asked the audience how long he can speak, then from audience, somebody told, you can speak for any length of time, but after five minutes, the whole hall will become empty. <laughs> and so today, I am the last speaker. I don't know what is in my face. So I am not allowed to happen it by short, by making my speech very short. When I was thinking what to speak about this subject, and not only that, yesterday when I reached uh, Brown and Ashram, London, the Swami who went to receive me at the airport, while coming to the Brown and Ashram, I was just discussing with the Swami. Swami, tomorrow I have to speak on this subject. The universal role of youth seems to be very difficult. Then that Swami is become very serious. It is very difficult. By hearing the subject, my head is reeling. <laughs> when I reached this place, then I thought I did not speak much. Because when you see this ashrama, then you can understand that Swami Purnananda is a role model of what is called universal role of youth. There is no doubt about it. So by seeing him, you can understand what should be the role of youth, but universal role of youth. Not only that, there is, we need not discuss much. All of you know Swami Vivekananda, whatever he has achieved, whatever he has known, whatever he has done, he has done all these in his prime youth. That is why it is called Swami Vivekananda's icon of youth. And that is why in India, Swami Vivekananda's birthday has been observed as a national youth day. Not only that, we are all talking about uh, Sister Nivedita. Nivedita came to India at the age of 22. And in her young age, how much she has done can you imagine? So these two icons, we can say, youth icon, Swami Vivekananda and Sister Nivedita, mm -hmm. be the role model, or is the role model of universal role of youth. There is no doubt about it. That is why we should read the life of Swami Vivekananda and life of Sister Nivedita. Then we'll understand what we should do the young, the youth, what they should do, and how they should do, and what way they should do, then what is their responsibility if they would understand it very clearly. Dear friends, just I was searching web, so web search, I was doing web search, I found that according to the UNO statistics, the number of youth is 1.9 billion and is a huge uh, positive force. There is no doubt about it. But Swami Vivekananda is to uh, what is called uh, reposed faith and confidence <coughs> in youth. He said that my faith in younger generation, my faith in what is called modern generation, out of them work will, will come and they will work like lion for regeneration of India. Though he has said in Indian perspective, but it can be applied in the world perspective also. Not only that, Swami, he said that I want only 100 youth, 100 youth only. He did not want 1,000 or 500 or 200 or 300, only he wanted 
100 youth, young people who will be very young and will be very uh, dynamic and vibrant, <coughs> strong, unselfish, and uh, there will be a sense of sacrifice, dedication, and devotion with this young, 100 young youth or young people. Some you said, I can utilize the whole world. Just see, some is the tremendous faith and confidence in the youth power. There is no doubt about it. Dear friends, the strength of any nation or race doesn't depend on only the, uh, what is called natural resources or wealth or money, but the real strength of any race or country is the human resource, the power of human, or you can say the power of youth. That is why the youth power can do a miracle. There is no doubt about it. And not only that, if you read the history, you'll find that whenever there is any revolution, whether it's a political revolution or economic revolution or social revolution, whatever it may be the revolution, in each and every revolution you'll find the young or youth always has been in the front line. So there, there's no doubt about it that youth can do so many things for the society. They can change the society, transform the society. Not only that, I think uh, this Swami Vivekanandaji's wonderful quote, small quote, that is, be good and to do good. This should be the universal, uh, uh, what is called, uh, strength or universal role of the youth. Be good and to do good. Not only that, Swami Vivekananda further said, he has written a beautiful letter to Maharaja of Mysore. He is writing a letter to Maharaja of Mysore. He is writing, the noble prince, life is short, and the energies of life are transited. They alone live, who live for others, rest are more dead than alive. I think this should be the youth, uh, uh, universal role of the youth. With these three words, I would like to thank Swami Purnananda other devotees for arranging this beautiful function. Just now he was talking. Uh, Swami also was talking to me all from morning to evening, the how uh, you have organized this function alone, of course, with the help of other devotees and volunteers. But in India, arranging this type of function from morning to evening or night, then there are a lot of confusion, a lot of this and that, and talking this thing and that thing, so many things, and different opinion. So how smoothly, I was just watching, how smoothly uh, function went off well. I think uh, after that, there will be, after this function, there will be uh, RT. And uh, because I actually, I am on lecture two in Europe, after fixing the lecture two program, I came to know that there will be a function, a dedication function on 17th of June, at Ireland, then I rescheduled my program, and uh, I thought, no, I must attend this program because all of you know, this, especially we, the Ramkis Knights, have uh, uh, what is called um, uh, what is called weakness, weakness for this place because Yevidita was from this place. That is why Ireland. That is why I rescheduled the program, and all the way I have come to attend this program, and I go back. Uh, tomorrow morning to uh, what is called Oslo and Norway. So with these three words, I would like to thank you very much again. And I conclude my speech always I do it. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, Sarve Santu Niramaya, let all be healthy, uh, let all be happy. Namaskar and Navai.